Hello guys, Let you right here. This is part of a crash course in Figma's auto layout. In this lesson, we are going to create a grocery list item. We will be learning things like how to create an auto layout, how to add data and icons, how to create a list, and finally, how to make it responsive. Are you ready? Let's get started. To begin, select both text and apply auto layouts to it using the keyboard shortcut Shift A. From the Properties panel of the Auto Layout, set the spacing between items to zero. It's important to rename the Auto Layout frame, so go ahead and rename the Auto Layout frame. Next, align the icon and select the frame together with the icon and apply another Auto Layout. Now let's add an avatar to our frame. Copy an avatar from the component set and drag it inside the frame. The blue line you see tells you where the avatar can be placed inside the auto layout frame. By adding an auto layout to a layer, it provides the opportunity to add properties to that layer. Select the avatar and add an auto layout to it. Set the spacing between items to zero. Add a fill color and set it to white. And set the corner radius to 100 to achieve a circle. Select the main auto layout frame and set the spacing between items to 24. Now let's use the keyboard shortcuts, Ctrl Alt key to convert the auto layout frame into a component. Make an instance of the components and duplicate it. Select all the instances and apply auto layout. Set the fill color to white and rename the auto layout. Then let's increase the spacing between items to 10. Select some of the rules and apply a fill color to them. I feel the pattern inside the cards is too tight, so let's head back to the master components and increase the pattern. Also select the grocery list item frame and increase the pattern. Select the grocery list item frame and set the corner radius to 10. And let's do the same for the cards we styled. Select all and set their corner radius to 10 as well. Now let's move on to making the frame responsive. First, select all the list items in the frame and set the horizontal resizing to fill the container. What this means is that whenever we resize the main container, the child inside the frame will also resize accordingly and keep the pattern reassigned to the frame. But now there's a problem. Notice that when we resize the frame, the content doesn't resize. In order to fix that, we head back to the main component and select Advanced Layout option. Where you have Spacing Mode, set it to Space Between. This means the spacing between the elements will be determined automatically by the width of the frame when resized. Still, the problem persists. The contents of the frame doesn't resize. What we can do now is to select the main component and double click to select the text auto layout frame and set the horizontal resize into fill container. Okay, now the rows are resizing, but the contents, which is a text, is not resizing. We can fix this by selecting the individual text layers in the main component. And setting the horizontal resizing to fill container. Let's add a heading to the list. With the text tool selected, type out some text and drag it inside 
the auto layout. Since we want to style it and make it responsive, we apply auto layout to the text layer. Let's add a fill color to the heading. Apply a corner radius of 10 and set the horizontal resizing of the frame to fill container. Now the heading frame becomes responsive, but the text remains static. Let's fix that by selecting the text and changing horizontal resizing to fill container. Wow, finally, we have designed a responsive grocery list item using auto layout. In our next course, we will look at how to create responsive cards using auto layout. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date on all our future content. See you in the next one. Bye.